in Morton, Washington, where the on-stage Children's Theatre Education Program will be presenting Willy Wonka Jr. the weekends of May 8th and 15th. I'm Scarlett, and today we'll be spending time with the actor playing the big man himself, Willy Wonka. Oh, my name is Tell, and I am playing Mr. Wonka. Well, if you can't tell, then it's kind of obvious. And, um... Wait, what was the third question? <laughs> So the basic role of Mr. Wonka is he is um, the leader of the chocolate factory and he is searching for an heir to carry on the chocolate business. So he has set up this contest with the golden tickets. This is my first real performance I've ever been in. Um, I've only been in small time things like a little program our church set up for kids after school on Fridays. Um, they wanted me to play the drums and to play one of the characters in the story. The day of auditions, well, I mean they had auditions every day new kids came in. Linda would take some time to have us go down with them. She took me down, she was like, I want to hear you sing Pure Imagination, the first part. And uh, I had no previous experience in singing this song. All I remember was Gene Wilder and singing it, so I just kind of thought from my head. I just went, <clears throat> she just said, sing the first couple of lines, you know, I just, I just want to hear it. So I just said, you know, come with me and you'll be in a world of and my voice literally cracked like that because I was singing quiet and I was just like ah oh. and she's like no 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 keep going and I looked at her she was like she was imagining I could tell she was like kind of imagining she's like no 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 keep going keep going and she's like stop 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 and she's like how would you like to meet Mr. Wonka in the play and immediately like a big like I was like is this happening? Is this really happening? Am I getting the lead part? I've never had any play experience. Am I getting the lead part? I'm just like going this, through this through my head. I'm like, sure. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I grew up watching Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, and Johnny Depp occasionally. But mostly I just, I like Gene Wilder. Just because not only did he have a little sense of crazy, but he was, you know, a heartwarming character. Normally I probably would say Pure Imagination. I mean, that's a pretty good song. But the song that, to me, I really get into is probably um, There's No Knowing, which is the scene where they're on the pink candy boat and they're going through the, I really don't have a name for it, but like the big tunnel. Yeah. And there's the weird things going off and Everyone's freaking out except Wong because he's planned this all out. He's just kind of scaring him a little more. Kind of crazy. <laughs> but um, I think that's my favorite song. But I mean, I like all the songs. All the songs are fun to sing. I like the ending that they had for the Willy Wonka films. But I also like the ending that they put on for the stage. Just because, you know, Mr. Wonka, he's just, he's just mad that Charlie you know, did something bad. He drank the fizzy lifting drinks and, you know, he disobeyed the rules and he's just mad. He's just like, you know, well, there's the door. I'm sure you can find your way out. Today has just been a waste of time. And, I mean, I just, I like his dialogue that he has for that. Because, I mean, you can tell in the play he's just, you know, he's just sort of depressed because this was his only big chance to find someone to 
run the chocolate factory when he's gone. What do you think Wonka will do after he like retires? Hmm. I haven't really put too much thought into that. Either he's gonna leave and just kind of disappear from society, you know, maybe just live in Loompa Land or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he'll go to Loompa Land or, you know, bite vermicious knids and <laughs> snozzwangers or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, or, um, or like in the second. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory movie, he actually stays in the factory and like helps Charlie run the factory. I am going to Centralia College. I've already been accepted there. I just got to sign up for classes and scholarships. And um, I'm really wanting to get into a career of filmmaking. That's a hobby that I really, really like doing nowadays. I mean, a couple years ago, when I thought of, if you asked me, tell me you want to make a movie, I'd be like, no, what's the point? But a couple years later, I'm just like, if someone says in class, we're doing a movie or something, I'm like, yes, yes, I don't have to do it for extra credit, I can do an actual assignment, which is a video, and I don't know, video, video making just, just became something I liked. Me, my sister, and my cousin, we decided, hey, let's make let's make a movie. And they were just like, no, we don't want to make another one of your stupid movies. I'm just like, come on, you know, why not? It'll be fun. I'll be the bad guy, and you two will be the good. You'll be the good guys. You'll be this. And um, uh, we just came up with it. We call it the Spy Eds. And. That was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake, in my opinion. They had fun with it, but I'm just like, uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> you know, what have I gotten myself into? It happens sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's more funny than, you know, action, just because it was something we had never tried before, and when we tried to do it, it turned out to be more of a comedy. <laughs> but we just put action music in it. I've never had a full blown, only at band concerts or choir, I've never had an audience cheer just for me, you know. And I, I imagine when I have that feeling, when they have to play, it's, it's going to be overwhelming to me. Just because I've never had that kind of spotlight, I've never been in the real spotlight or attention like that, but I think I'll take it well. I mean, it should be pretty fun.